The CEO of Norfolk Southern faced his lawmakers on Capitol Hill to answer questions about a toxic spill in Ohio. This comes as concerns grow over possible long-term health effects in the area. Fox's Mark Meredith has more. I want to begin today by expressing how deeply sorry I am for the impact this derailment has had on the residents of East Palestine. Norfolk Southern CEO Alan Shaw says his company is sorry for last month's toxic train derailment in East Palestine, Ohio. On February 3rd, multiple tank cars ran off the tracks and ignited, sending dangerous chemicals into the soil and wastewater. The disaster prompting Ohio senators to co-sponsor a bill establishing stronger safety requirements for trains carrying hazardous materials. It shouldn't take a train derailment for elected officials to put partisanship aside and work together for the people whom we serve, not corporations like Norfolk Southern. The NTSB's preliminary report finding an overheated wheel bearing as a factor in the derailment. This week, Norfolk Southern announced plans to install dozens of temperature detectors along the tracks that can provide real-time warnings to train crews. The company also plans to spend more than $20 million assisting the Ohio-Pennsylvania communities impacted by the crash. And while no one was killed in the disaster, some residents have developed headaches and respiratory symptoms. Lawmakers say they're concerned about the long-term effects of this toxic spill. The residents don't feel safe. I think they have every reason not to feel safe. So what are we going to do moving forward to get their lives back on track? As the cleanup continues, Norfolk Southern also faces questions about its safety practices. An NTSB investigation remains underway. On Capitol Hill, Mark Meredith, Fox News.